Hello and welcome to Getting APIs to Work. In this channel we look at all things API and I want to start today by talking about what is an API. We will have a lot of what is an API sessions in the future looking at scenarios, looking at technologies and all, all the more detailed things around APIs. What I want to talk about today really is getting APIs to work and what are the essentials about API. So what really is at the heart of what is an API and why it's useful. And I really want to boil it down to two fundamental things, meaning that it needs to be networked. If it's not networked, it's not an API. And it needs to be reusable. If it's not reusable, it's not an API. Okay, so what is an API? An API, API is an application programming interface, meaning it's two applications talking to each other. That's pretty much it. Right? It's one application exposing an interface, another application using it. Now, for this to be useful in today's world, you actually need that ability to talk to each other to be available across the network. Right? So you have, let's say, your phone. You want to upload a picture to Instagram. So your phone needs to talk to Instagram across the network. Right. So Instagram is living in the cloud, it's a service living in the cloud, and your phone needs to talk to it. Let's say somebody else wants to look at the same pictures, they use their laptop to access the same Instagram service. They also need to use the API to access the service and get the pictures from there. There also can be other services that want to access the same service. There can be multiple clouds, right? And in the end, all that matters really in this scenario is that for things to be useful nowadays, they need to be network capable. Cloud really is nothing other than a fancy word for saying it's not running on a computer in front of you. And so many things are running in clouds nowadays and there's a variety of clouds, right, that not having things available to be used in those cloud scenarios is really a big disadvantage. Okay, so network capabilities are one essential aspect of APIs. The second essential aspect of APIs is reusability. What we mean by this is that if you have a service that provides an API, right, you design that service having that network capable API so that it can be accessed, but you design it in a way that not only your application can access it, but other applications can access it as well, right? So the idea is that by designing the service in the right way that is reusable for others, your application can access the API, other applications can access the API, other services can access the API. And that means that you're leveraging something that's called the network effect, meaning that the value of something grows if you make it available to more people, right? Because potentially you have more users, you can build new things around it. All of that is a good thing and all of that works much better if you really make things reusable. If you're not making it reusable, if you just think about having two applications talking to each other across the network, that's what in enterprise terms, people often call integration, right? Saying, we want these two things to talk to each other, we make it happen, that's good enough. And that works for this single scenario, but it also means that now if you want to connect something else, you have to do this again, right? So this doesn't scale well. And over time, you recognize that, people have realized that the more things we want to connect, the more expensive it becomes to go through this integration effort every single time. So let's make the API reusable so that we don't have to spend all this integration effort. Right. So to summarize really the two things that are essential for APIs to make them useful in the way we look at them today is for them to be networked and for them to be reusable. Right. We will look at more details, like I said, around scenarios, technologies, all of these things in future videos. But for now, that's really all I wanted to talk about to really kind of set the stage for what is the, the, the lowest common denominator where you can say if something is 
following these ideas, it really makes sense to talk about an API, really. And I think these are the two most important things to talk about. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, I guess. I'm new to this video thing, as you might be able to say. So if you find this interesting and if you want to see more videos, subscribe there. I think there's buttons somewhere. I don't really know where. Again, right? it's my first YouTube video. So um, I will produce many more videos around this. I will also talk to people in the API space. I will create little videos reporting from API events and so forth. So if you're interested in the API space, subscribe and I guess I'll See you soon. Bye.